Well, we're here today uh, in London in order to taste uh, international Pinot Noirs and German Pinot Noirs. We will do a comparative tasting with 20 German Pinot Noirs and 20 Pinot Noirs from the rest of the world. And then we'll see which ones come out best. The tasting will be blind. We have a panel of 14 wine experts, some of the best wine experts you can find in this country. We'll select the 10 best wines and then this afternoon we're going to taste these 10 best wines and then select the very best. My hope for today is that the German Pinot Noirs will show how great they are. You never know in a blind tasting what is, what's the outcome in the end, uh, but what we really want to show is that German wine is competitive on a quality level internationally. And I think today this might help us to show the public here in the UK how great our Pinot Noirs are and that they are real discovery. just typed in all the results of the first round uh, and the results were very good when I look at the average scores and I think we're going to get really good wines now. I thought the sound of the wine was, was very impressive, you know, we had some of the best Pinot Noirs in the world and great to see Germany get so many wines in there because I really believe that Germany deserves its place amongst the best Pinot Noirs in the world. The fact that 7 out of 10 of the first wines were from Germany, are oh, that's just amazing. I've followed German Pinot Noir over far longer than I'd like to say. God, it's come a long way. You know, it now belongs in the company of great Pinot Noir around the world. It should be on far more restaurant wine lists, and I hope from today that those people will be looking for it more actively. German Pinot Noir can absolutely compete with the best in the world, certainly on the strength of today's tasting, where we were doing a blind, and we were encouraged not to think about where these wines came from, and the Germans had a very, very good result. So I would definitely think about those in terms of my professional work, doing restaurant wine so I would definitely think about German Pinot Noir. The German Pinot Noir I enjoyed most and, and a guy who got two Pinot Noirs in the top ten was a producer called Sireisen uh, from Baden. I think this guy has got a massive future, a superstar for me. I've always said about Pinot Noir that its pleasures are whole body experiences, they're not just intellectual. I love the way it transmits place. Um, it's a very sensual wine and, uh, and it goes really, really well with food, much better than most red wines. Pinot Noir to me has to be sexy. I think it is the sexiest grape. It has to be sexy, it has to be aromatic. But also in the mouth it's fleshy, it's plump and it has freshness and vivacity. I think that's what you want from Pinot Noir. I really do think that German Pinot Noir has a chance uh, in the UK market. There are quite a few already represented. Even uh, the winners from Germany, most of them are already represented somewhere here. But we have to spread the word further. Uh, specialists, specialists, journalists, sommeliers, they know already about German Pinot Noir. But that's just a very small portion of the population. And I think um, we still have to work on that. And today was a good start.